students welcome to our channel general learnings in this video you are going to learn about multiplication first we will see what is multiplication let us take one real life example zara is helping her mother in baking some cookies her mother asked her to arrange the cookies on baking tray so zara prepared three trays for baking with 12 cookies on each tray so in each tray it contains 12 cookies now we are going to find out the number of cookies baked by zara in total we know that in each tray it contains 12 cookies of three trays so that can be written as three groups of 12 so this 12 cookies can be split up into 12 plus 12 plus 12 because it is three group we get 36 so but there is an another way to write this that is you can multiply 3 by 12 which means three group of 12s you can write this three group of 12 as 3 into 12 so multiplication is nothing but a way of adding the same number many times next we are going to see the terms related to multiplication we all know that multiplication is a repeated addition that is 12 plus 12 plus 12 that can be written as 3 into 12 the number which is to be repeated or multiplied is called multiplicant in abo which number is repeated 12 is repeated so 12 is multiplicant the number which expresses how often the multiplicant is repeated is called multiplier in abo 3 is a multiplier so multiplier into multiplicant what we will get we will get product next we are going to see multiplication of one digit number without regrouping let us take one example 22 into 2 so first we need to arrange this number in place value 22 is a two digit number so the place value will be once tens now we are going to arrange this number according to their place value next we are going to multiply this number first we need to multiply the ones column that is 2 into 2 so 2 2 so 4 next we are going to multiply the tens column 2 into 2 so 2 2 so 4 so 22 into 2 is 44 next we are going to see another one example here they have given 123 into 3 so 123 is a three digit number so the place value will be ones tens hundred now we are going to arrange this number according to their place value next we are going to multiply them first we are going to multiply the ones column that is three into three so three three is a nine next we are going to multiply the tens column two into three two three is a six next we are going to multiply the hundred column that is one into three one three is a three so hundred and twenty three into three is three hundred and sixty nine Next, we are going to see multiplication of one digit number with regrouping. That is carry forward. First, we will see regrouping once. Let us take one example. 116 into 4. Here, 116 is a three digit number. So, the place value will be once, tens, hundred. Then, we are going to arrange this number according to their place value. Then, we are going to multiply them. First, we are need to multiply the ones column. That is 6 into 4. So, 6 fours are 24. This 24 can be written as 2 tens and 4 ones. The 4 ones of 24 should write in ones column. And 2 tens should carry forward to the tens column above 1. Next, we are going to multiply the tens column. 
that is 1 into 4. So, 1 into 4 is 4. Next, we need to add the carry forward number 2 along with this 4. That is 4 plus 2 which is 6. Next, we are going to multiply the 100 column. That is 1 into 4 which is 4. So, 116 into 4 is 464. Next, we are going to see regrouping tens. Let us take an example. 361 into 2. So, 361 is a 3 digit number. So, the place value will be 1 tens 100. Next, we are going to arrange this number according to their place value. Now, we are going to multiply them. First, we need to multiply the 1's column. That is 1 into 2, which is 2. Next, we are going to multiply the 10's column. 6 into 2. So, 6 twos are 12. So, the 12 can be written as 102 tens. The 2 tens should write in tens column and 100 should carry forward to the 100 column above 3. Next, we are going to multiply the 100 column. That is 3 into 2. So, 3 twos are 6. Then, now we need to add the carry forward number 1 along with the 6. That is 6 plus 1 which is 7. So, 361 into 2 is 722. Next, we are going to see regrouping 100. Let us take one example. 412 into 4. So, now we are going to arrange this number according to their place values. Then, we are going to multiply them. First, we are going to multiply the 1's column. 2 into 4. So, 2 4's are 8. Next, we are going to multiply the tens column. 1 into 4. So, 1 4's are 4. Next, we are going to multiply the 100 column. That is 4 into 4. So, 4 4's are 16. This 16 can be written as 1600. This 600 can be written in 100 place and 1000 should written in the thousands place. So, 412 into 4 is 1648. Next, we are going to see regrouping 1 tens 100. All together, we are going to see now. Let us take one example. 356 into 3. So, 356 is a 3 digit number. So, the place value will be 1 tens 100. So, now we are going to arrange this number according to their place value. Now, we are going to multiply them. First, we are going to multiply the 1's column. 6 into 3. So, 6 3's are 18. So, this 18 can be written as 1 tens and 8 1's. This 8 1's should written in 1's column and 1's tens should carry forward to the 10's column above 5. Now, we are going to multiply the tens column. That is 5 into 3. So, 5 3 is a 15. Then, we need to add the carry forward number 1 along with this 15. Which is 15 plus 1 is 16. This 16 can be written as 106 tens. The 6 tens should written in tens column and 100 should carry forward to the 100 column. Now, we are going to multiply the 100 place. That is 3 into 3. 3 3 is a 9. Then, this carried forward 1 should add along with this 9. That is 9 plus 1, which is 10. So, this 10 can be written as 1000 and 0 hundred. The 0 hundred should written in the 100 column and 1000 should be written in the thousands place. So, 356 into 3 is 1068. Okay, student, I hope you understand this multiplication concept. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this, please go and visit my YouTube channel at General Learnings 91. Thank you.